Okay, let's take a look at our new aquaponics tilapia breeding tank that we built. We built this uh, back in uh, January. It's been in operation for two weeks. Uh, it's had fish in it for about 10 days to 12 days. And it has my smallest three tilapia out of the uh, main tank in the greenhouse where we had 65. So I pulled three, and then I pulled a, uh, a bottom feeding sucker fish. He's about six inches long. He's in there to help with the tank and the algae. So I put that together with about $70 of steel, a uh, yard sailed 60 or 65 gallon freshwater aquarium tank. I'm not really sure. It came with the rocks and uh, the sand. And then I spent about $30 in fittings and tubing at the most. And then I constructed the grow bed and had some extra hydroton. It also cost $69 for that tank right there. And a little bit of silicone. And uh, let's take a look. So we're running a 210-gallon uh, pond pump. And that does a good exchange of water about every five to six minutes there. And you can see, there's one of the small guys right there. He's, uh, let's see if we can get some of that. We go real slow. He kind of got beat up. The other guys have kind of been at him. You can see he whacked his head when we first got in here. Yeah, I know. Getting a lot of reflections on you there, bud. Yeah, he's not liking us looking at him. And there's a big brother there. And then there's the big honker. And he's the small one of the smallest ones I got. So and you can see the rest of the tank. I'm trying to pull back a little bit. Made some crawdad holes. My crawdads, they all killed each other, so I gotta do something about that. Give them plenty of places to hide. And uh, there's our little boy again. All right. Maybe you can get a better shot from the top angle. Who knows? There they are. So, how is this set up? Well, it's a standard uh, um, flood and drain with a bell siphon. Uh, I have a venturi on both ends. You heard it cycling. And I also have a uh, have this drain cut into the bottom of the tank so that I always have constant water flow. And you can see it here. And I've got a 7-watt uh, air pump and stone going at about a quarter strength right now. You can see the venturi on the bottom of the siphon. You can see the fitting that I put in. This one seems to work pretty darn good. Here it is. It's got a small venturi at the top of that siphon. That's only about three and a half inches long, and it fills this tank. There's the six inch mark. It fills it right to about uh, five inches. So we planted some stuff two weeks ago. Oh, we got some fishes jumping, it sounds like, here. What are they doing? Oh, there he is. He's darting around the back. He's not happy that I'm looking at him. Okay. Come around this side. And you can see the Roma tomato. Some half pint snow peas. And I think another Roma tomato and a Jimmy Nardello pepper. And then you've got some various lettuces and broccoli and I think jade uh, cabbage. We like that sort of stuff here. Yeah. You know. get a little overheated, but that's all right. So we'll back away. Put a little bit of insulation on the back to keep uh, algae from uh, growing. Well, there you go. Well, that is the uh, project we've been working on for a month and it's been up for a couple weeks and the growth is looking real good in the top end. Run a little high on the ammonia with the three fish. So we shall see. We'll get put a little bit of night out in there and make sure we have good established bacteria colony and 
then we'll add the worms. So that'll, that'll be it.